Mordecai had told Esther and said, Esther, listen, I need you to realize, don't mention where you are from. Don't talk about it. It will work against you. As soon as the crown gets on Esther's head, Mordecai now says to Esther, you still want to continue to hide. It is for a time like this. So the difference between don't mention where you are from and you are now the vehicle that God will use to deliver us. The difference is the crown on your head. Let me put it in better English. The difference of your weaknesses will work against you and you being in charge of the situation is dominion. Without the crown on your head, your history will hold you by the jugular. Without dominion, the minuses in your life will become major subtractions in destiny. He says to Esther, if you don't have the crown, don't talk about your past. If you don't have the crown, don't mention your mistakes. Now that you have the crown on your head, this is the time to act. Sir, between what will stop you and your ability to take your place, it is a recognition, a conscious affirmation to yourself that I am in charge. Did you hear what I just said? And when God created man, he gave man dominion over the birds of the air. Your dominion was not given to you according to what you have ability for. And this is the way I always explain it. Birds of the air. Dominion over what is higher than you. What is higher than you? Yes, sir. What is higher than you? Sir, they are more smarter than myself. I have dominion. Sir, they have the certificates that I don't have. I have dominion. He didn't give me dominion over goats and the uh, uh, sheep, the things that are on the ground. No, he gave me dominion over bets of the high flyer flying over my head. So that thing that is bigger than you, God says you have dominion over it. There will always be somebody smarter than you, much more intelligent than you, more qualified than you. Their documents and their CVs are more robust than your own. When you meet such people, their years of experience in business dwarfs your own. They are more connected than you are. They are high flyers. They are flying over your head. People of God, when you meet it, lift up your right hand and with a loud voice declare, I have to. The Bible says concerning the works of my hands, command ye me. Where the word of a king is, there is power. He said, I'm giving you dominion over the fish of the sea. Man is not an aquatic animal or we don't belong to the aquatic region. And God says, I'm giving you dominion in a region you are not familiar with. It is your word. Some of you opportunities are going to enter, will open up in areas you are not familiar with. Lift up your right hand, shout, say, I have dominion. There are things that will come to your table that will look like it's confusing you. Lift up your right hand and shout, I have dominion. There are people I am speaking to right now. Lift up your right hand and turn that I have dominion. Can you scream it louder? Say I have dominion. Can you turn that I have dominion?